This week, the French baguette gained world heritage status from the United Nations as a crunchy tradition to be preserved by humanity. Another cherished cultural institution that had been on the endangered species list was the White House State Dinner. It was revived last night. Glamour, glitz, and politics converged on the South Lawn as President Joe Biden welcomed his French counterpart, Emmanuel Macron, to the White House. Ooh la la. This was the first state dinner in more than three years, and the COVID-19 pandemic had paused all of Washington's fancy gatherings. The joyful, revolutionary spirit of the Marquis de Lafayette resonated in the glass pavilion. President Biden held his ginger ale filled flute aloft and toasted the French president to the history that binds and the, and the values, values that still unite us and the future we're going to forge together. Viva la France and God bless America. And President Macron toasted with his glass of California Brut Rosé. We stand together, shoulder to shoulder, precisely to be entitled to say at the same time, we the people and liberté, égalité, fraternité. Vive les États-Unis d'Amérique, vive la France et vive l'amitié entre nos deux pays. Looming over last night's celebration of freedom were dangers lurking. That morning, at the welcoming ceremony, President Biden reminded us that... As allies in NATO, together with our European Union and the G7, and partners around the world, France and the United States are facing down Vladimir Putin's grasping ambition for conquest and Russia's brutal war against Ukraine, which has once more shattered peace on the continent of Europe. President Macron responded, Et cette histoire commune nous oblige aussi, face au retour de la guerre sur le sol européen, suite à l'agression russe contre l'Ukraine, et face aux crises multiples qui frappent nos nations et nos sociétés, il nous faut savoir redevenir frère d'armes. Accordingly, we bear duty to this shared history as war returns to the European soil following Russia's aggression against Ukraine and in light of the multiple crises our nations and our societies face, we need to become brothers in arms once more. And if there was any doubt that President Emmanuel Macron views internal threats to freedom as seriously as he does those from abroad, then let these words sink in. Quote, our democracies on both sides of the ocean are being shaken by the same doubts as our ability to be sufficiently strong and effective when it comes to the challenges we share, those of the climate, geopolitics, and technology. They're in doubt in the face of relativism, hate speech, false information, and today's fears. And to those fears, President Biden reassured us as he welcomed French President Macron. We are proving to people around the world that democracies deliver from our joint leadership to make sure partners everywhere, everywhere, and parents everywhere can be feed their children to cooperate and to tackle the climate crisis and to preserve our planet for generations yet to come. From the White House, this is Douglas Christian.